Although the price of one Bitcoin has risen back above $30,000, the market remains unconvinced that a bull run in cryptocurrencies is about to resume. The dollar currency index DXY and updated monthly charts for gold Zhao and the US dollar, however, may offer early indications that something unique is developing. I have put a lot of research on this video, so I highly recommend watching it in its entirety to ensure you don't miss out on any valuable information that can boost your crypto investments. However, please note that the content provided in this video is for informational purposes only, and should not be considered financial or investment advice. Welcome to Crypto Life Money, your go-to-go -go source for the latest developments in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. I'm Melvin, your host, and on this channel, we'll be diving deep into the world of crypto, from the newest coins and tokens to the most exciting blockchain projects and developments. So, if you're ready to explore the world of digital currency and stay ahead of the game, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's dive into the world of crypto together. Let's examine the long-term gold versus Bitcoin chart in more detail, starting with the precious metal that used to support the whole financial system. The June monthly candle is pushing beyond the Bollinger Band basis line, as can be seen by looking at the one-month chart displayed, which shows the price of gold in Bitcoin. Each Bollinger Band is established at two standard deviations of the SMA, and the Bollinger Band Foundation is a 20-period simple moving average. With volatility, the two bands enlarge and decrease in size. Historically, price went on to touch the lower Bollinger Band after the Bitcoin gold graph closes below the basis. At the present pricing, this would mark both a new record low on the chart and a new record high for the value of one Bitcoin in troy ounces of gold. For yet another alternate view of the cryptocurrency market in comparison to important macro assets, the dollar currency index, DXY, is shown in the chart above against Bitcoin USD. Top currencies are bundled together and traded against the US dollar in the DXY. Price is moving beyond the Bollinger Band basis line, often known as the mid BB, in a manner similar to the gold chart from previously. The DXY, Bitcoin USD chart, in contrast to the Bitcoin gold chart, exhibits several months of consolidation below the base. This may imply that the foundation line has been proven to be resistance. This has previously resulted in a push toward the lower Bollinger Band, which should translate to new record lows on the rarely utilized ratio. Such a scenario may eventually indicate new all-time highs in the fundamental Bitcoin USD chart are imminent because the DXY reflects dollar strength. What we know about the sudden suspension of Shiburn's Twitter account. The bot application for Shiburn, a well-known Shiba Inu burn tracker on Twitter, has been suspended. Shiburn has offered a substitute approach for the neighborhood to track Shiba Inu burns during this ban. Shiburn has attracted a lot of interest from the crypto community. The account owners have contacted powerful people like Elon Musk and Twitter's recently appointed CEO, Linda Yaccarino, in an effort to get help and a resolution. The Twitter account recently voiced its fervent view that the ban was a mistake in a tweet. Shiburn's app was reported for breaking Twitter's rules and practices, according to a statement on the developer portal. However, the account claimed that it never got the email with more details on the alleged infringement. Shiburn claims that the suspension was unreasonable and unintentional as a result of the communication gap. Shiburn has also experienced problems trying to file a support request since they have run into a problem where there isn't a form to submit. Shiburn emphasized the two years that its app had been running on Twitter continuously. It rigorously followed the platform's rules during this period, staying in good standing with the community. The sudden termination of Shiburn has sparked rumors and debates among those involved in the cryptocurrency industry. The event has spurred discussion about how Twitter moderates accounts associated to cryptocurrencies as well as worries about how the company handles enforcement proceedings. This bot, which is an automated account, is extremely important since it offers timely updates on Shiba Inu burn transactions and key data. Shiba Inu fans as well as the larger crypto community have grown to rely heavily on the bot software. The Shiburn account has tagged a number of well-known Twitter users in an effort to spread notice of the problem. Shiburn typically posts hourly reports, but a look at its Twitter account indicates that the most recent item involving Shiba Inu was published 16 hours ago. The suspension left the concerned Twitter account's bot inactive and prevented it from posting updates, however the burn tracker offered users an alternative. Shiburn directed readers to its official website to acquire the most latest information about Shiba Inu burns in a separate tweet.
The crypto community is eagerly awaiting a resolution to the account suspension and is looking for explanations as to why the account was deleted. Social media platforms must set clear policies and guarantee the fair handling of accounts associated to cryptocurrencies in view of the continued growth of the cryptocurrency business. This is not the first time that Twitter has suspended accounts recently. This is a trend. On June 19, the social networking site deactivated, explained this Bob, a well-known meme bot driven by artificial intelligence and tied to coins. This response followed Elon Musk's claim that it was a scam crypto account. Belgian market regulator orders Binance to halt its cryptocurrency services. Belgium has most recently joined the list of nations taking severe action against Binance. The government has now issued a directive requiring the firm to stop offering its services. The Financial Services and Markets Authority, or FSMA, has charged Binance with selling and rendering exchange services in Belgium in breach of a restriction. According to the regulator's statement, these services encompass exchanges between virtual and real currencies as well as custodian wallet services coming from nations outside the European economic area. Following rumors of a French inquiry into Binance and a verified visit from French officials, Belgium recently took this move. Additionally, a legal battle is now being waged between Binance and the Securities and Exchange Commission. These elements have influenced how the scenario of the cryptocurrency trade is changing. According to Belgian law, it is specifically forbidden for nations or people outside the European economic area to provide or provide custodial wallet services, exchange services between virtual currencies and fiat currencies, or any other financial services in the country. Even if such actions are regarded as complementary or incidental to their professional operations, this restriction nevertheless applies. Binance will be required to contact all of its Belgian clients as part of the granted order. All bitcoins and private keys that were in the exchange's possession for these clients must be made available for repatriation. By taking this action, the regulatory requirements will be followed, and the assets of clients with addresses in Belgium will be protected. 27 businesses have been identified as part of the Belgian inquiry that are referred to as Binance operators, and are thought to be involved in the operational and or technological facets of offering these services. 19 of these businesses are situated outside the European economic area. In a recent announcement, Binance stated that it has decided to stop operating in Europe. The corporation asserts that the decision was made because it wanted fewer regulated companies. In order to communicate its plan to stop providing services in these nations, Binance is leaving both Cyprus and the Netherlands. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed exploring the exciting world of Bitcoin and other digital currencies with us. We always strive to provide you with informative and engaging content. So, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to stay in the loop on all of our future releases. We also want to hear from you. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and opinions on the topics we discussed today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.